Welcome, Librans. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the um, Aries season. Aries season begins from the 21st of March until the 19th of April. I want to say thank you for returning. Please like and share. If this is your first time, please leave a message, thumbs up, and in order to see what energies you're going to be working with, you got to choose one of the symbols, okay? This... Um, Caesar reading has to do with choosing your own symbol along with this reading and you will create um, that stability for yourself, okay? I want to say thank you again for returning and remember at the end of this reading, use the link below to choose symbol one, two, or three and it will take you to that extended part where you're going to be choosing your own symbol and knowing exactly how to deal with issues and situations that is coming up. The season's region is about things that is happening in a specific season. Each and every month we have a season. This is the season of uh, Aries, all right? Let's look at the first week. Um, the first week is about... Um, the Ten of Wands. What do we know about the energy of the Ten of Wands? It's about your burdens are over, okay? It's in the reverse. A lot of you were having some sort of a burdensome situation. Maybe it was very, very busy. And as you come into um, the end of March, um, you recognize that the busyness is over. So the Ten of Wands is always Saturn in Sagittarian, okay? And Saturn in Sagittarian, what we think when we hear Saturn, um, the, the planet Saturn, the planet Saturn is about bringing back uh, discipline and order, okay? It's about bringing back discipline and order. So some of you, there could have been um, a whole lot of busyness, a whole lot of um, problems that you were resolving. The process wasn't going through. You were focusing on that. And now you're, you have gotten everything back on track. So you brought back discipline, um, and balance in alignment with things that was out of balance on the work floor or in your business. And this is very good because it's in the reverse. Okay. And when it's in the reverse, that means that all the business, um, all the, uh, all the emergency and everything that was going on, you were running around as a chicken losing your head, it's now over, all right? And this is good because coming in this pe period with um, Saturn in Sagittarius in a reverse is extremely, extremely good. Now, Libran, you are in your opposite sign um, season and that is the Aries. So again, if you want to do any business with anyone, Aries is the best person to go in business with. So as you come into this period in the week of March 21st until March 29th, you are dealing with, um, you know, hending. You are now relaxing. Let's say that this is relaxing. You have been going, um, you know, you've been going, going, going. And now finally, there is some sort of a balance where you can catch up with your own work. This is going to be a week where you can focus on your own work. You have uh, help all the people, trainee, um, all of the train, train, trainings that you had to give and that sort of a thing. Um, all the people that you had to help and support is now over and you can now sit at your desk and focus on your own work and bring in that balance into your own world. For business people, whatever problems you were dealing with, whatever issues you had, the week of the 21st until the 28th, this problem is going to be over. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. As we look at the second week. So the first week is going to be really beautiful for you, Libran. As we look at the second week, the second week has the energy of the Empress. And what do we know about the energy of the Empress in business is about um, creativity. So your creativity is going to be very high. Not only that, but if you are a business person, you're going to be bringing in a lot of business. Now, whatever burdens, some issues, problems you had with your business, um, you're going to be um, resolving that. So you're going to be sitting good in the second week. A lot of you could be having um, um, a female um partner or a female friend or a female colleague that is going to be supporting you where this female person 
um, that is looking as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be helping you up the ladder. So however way I see this person is sitting good, they're in a good position to help you, to support you, to get you up the ladder. So the second week is going to be beautiful because the second week is about financial stability. It's about money. It's about you taking over your power in order to facilitate and give yourself the reason to understand that your financial stability and you have all the powers in your hands in order to create your own wealth. So I see a lot of people, if you decide to create a new business, do it in the second week because the second week is going to be when the universe is saying, hey, use your creativity in order to bring financial stability in your world and push this out in the world so that it can help you to facilitate whatever you want to create in your world. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So this is another powerful, powerful week for you. These two weeks that is coming in, um, coming into April is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's about you, um, uh, being financial stable enough to understand that, hey, I have a good position or I can create my own well or I have um, the possibility to create my own wealth because it's about creativity, but it's also about you knowing that you're financial stable and there is no worries that you have. So this is going to be also a really powerful week with the Empress and the Empress is always about creativity and this is absolutely wonderful. As we look at the third week, the third week is from the 5th until the 11th. And what we have in the third week, the fifth until the 11th, we are recognizing and we are seeing the truth of what was happening. Okay, so we have multiple opportunities, multiple doors that is going to be opening for a lot of us in order to create our financial stability. So you could be, have your work and you have your work for many years, but all of a sudden you're going to be recognizing that there is a little hole in the market where you could get in, in order to create a, a extra money to give you that uh, financial stability. And you're going to be sitting down and recognizing and seeing that it is good for you to create and there is going to be a whole lot of opportunities. So if you're looking for a job the third week and in this airy season, airy season is good for you, Librans, because this airy season, what it does, it's the opposite side. So it helps you with your financial stability. And if you recognize all of your weeks are very good, because this third week, when we have the energy of the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups is about Venus in Scorpion. Venus in Scorpion. The Seven of Cups is about Venus in Scorpion. What is this? This is going to be business, a lot of business, a lot of order, a lot of sales is coming in. But also for you, Librans, it's going to be saying to you, I have the potential to create and bring in existence what it is that I want because the opportunities are going to be there. So if this is like on out of the expected, um, you're going to be gaining so much stability where people could be just like, hey, Libran, you know, are you looking for something new or do you know anyone that can fill this position or, you know, do you want to cross over to us or do you want to take this position because this person is leaving? It's as if, um, Libran, this is a week where opportunities, things are just going to be offered to you out of the blue and you're just going to be understanding, yes, this is where I need to be, yes, Thank you. I wasn't even thinking that I could, um, you know, take on another job or something simply in order to create my wealth. So yes, thank you. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful. And, um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that you're going to be offered just like out of the blue, offer a new position, offer it a whole lot of sales. Anyone that is in sales and anyone that is selling anything, um, this week of the 5th until the 11th is going to be absolutely fabulous. It is going to be a week that you're taking your reign. It is going to be a week that everything is going to be opening up for you. And a lot of possibilities are here for you to choose from. Go and choose because I see the door is now open. Then we look at the fourth week. The fourth week is from the 12th until the 19th. The 12th until the 19th. And the week of the 12th until the 19th, you have the Five of Cups, okay? And the energy of the Five of Cups is Mars in Cancer. Now, the Five of Cups energies is always about secrecy, okay? So 
Mars in Cancer is some sort of a secrecy on the work floor or a secrecy around you in business. So you got to be aware of what is happening and transpiring. Mars in Cancer is about um, people not showing up their ends. Okay, whatever is happening, it's, a, it's as if some of you are waiting on work from one department and the, that department is saying that is another department or that person is saying it's, a, it's an, another department that needs to deal with it. And it's as if someone is trying to hold down because Mars in Cancer, but you see the energy of Mars is going to be bringing out the secrets. Mars in Cancer is about bringing out the secrets. So a lot of you in the, the this last week, uh, some sort of a secrecy at the work floor is going to be coming down because the energy of Mars in Cancer is that the secret is about to be released. Some sort of a secret, something that someone was trying to create or something someone was trying to hold back on and had some sort of a secret. So you're going to be recognizing that people have been shifting you, shifting you off, shifting you off to this person, to that person, that sort of a thing. And now you're going to be recognizing, hey, these people are just playing a game. And you're going to be standing your ground and said, you know, um, get with the program because this is a situation that you are, um, you know, stopping the flow of, of my department or stopping the flow of my work. And I see someone was secretly trying to keep something. But yeah, um, their their secret is about to open up. Something is about, because when Mars come in Cancer, it's about Mars is going to be releasing the secrets that was being held. And now they're going to be recognizing that someone had kept some sort of a secret and was trying to block something or um, not letting something go through. And now people are recognizing what this person have done. So I see some sort of an embarrassment is going to be coming out for, um, work, um, you know, your coworkers uh, or your employees, some sort of a secrecy that an employee or for coworkers that was, um, carrying is going to be coming out in the last week. And it has nothing to do with you. You're just going to be recognizing that this coworker and this person, um, what they have, the secrets that they have been carrying is now out. And, you know, this could be a situation, Mars in Cancer is about a Cancer that could have been holding a lot of secrets and it is all out and people are now recognizing who this person is. So some of you, you could have been having some sort of a problem with a Cancer for some of you. Uh, or Aries, a Cancer or Aries, but the Mars energy is the Aries and the Aries Mars is in Cancer where Aries is going to be releasing some sort of a secrecy of a Cancer and they're going to be recognizing um, what this Cancer. There could be, um, it could be also that your bosses um, have uh, Mars in their birth chart. Also, this is someone who has Mars in Cancer in their birth chart that you're having some sort of an issue and problem with. So you got to be aware of this and you got to be understanding what is happening and transpiring because you're recognizing that these um, people and situation, they're holding on, on some sort of a secrets. And this is why this card is known as the, as the regret. Some, um, some of you are that person is going to be having a regret. So look out for a cancer that their secrets is going to be coming out in the last week. All right. I um, want to say that your sweetest week is going to be the second and the third week, whatever is happening in transpire. That is your sweet steak week, especially your second week. The second week and the third week is going to be your sweet safety. Use it and run with it because, uh, um, and you know, the, the, the first week is not bad because whatever the, 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 um, you know, you are very, very busy and this business is going to be over and then you're going to be having time in order to, um, reconsider and can sit and focus on your own work. Then when we get to the third week, it's as if a sales, multiple opportunity, business is going to be coming in, money is going to be returning, that sort of a thing. As you get to the fifth week, um, the secret of the cancer is going to be coming out. And it's as if Aries is going to be finding out the secret of the cancer and is going to be recognizing um, what a cancer has been doing. It is not your embarrassment. It is the embarrassment of uh, the cancer because uh, Mars in Aries is about... Uh, um, the, the said, the air, the 
the Aries is going to be um, revealed. Secrets about the Aries could be revealed, but secret over a cancer can also be revealed. So be aware of this. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up and uh, use the link below in order to choose one of your symbols to know what is going to be happening. I do love you. Namaste until next time.